Thank goodness he's okay. And on speaking terms with Shodai. But was it wise to go around with Takakesho so soon after concussion? As if Uda can answer that with any degree of detachment. Think where he was two years ago. How miraculous these matchups must seem now. Perhaps here today and gone tomorrow. And as Keisho looked so wobbly yesterday, Uda even fancied his chances. But the wily technician, having diffused the thrusts and secured the belt, had to catch himself before foul words emerged. Those feet flew upwards far too early, suggesting a golden chance to win against a man leading him 7-1 had been blown. The referee called for Takakesho. But wait, the judges seemed to disagree. And look, an Orzeki in serious stamina trouble and hardly in the mood for this. <laughs> got him, got him, got him. You've seen this photo before, I think. June 30th, 2019. The day on which Uda posed with fans before a golden screen, much like the one for his interview when defeating Haruma Fuji. You belong in front of a golden screen, we reassured him. And today, 926 moons later, before the golden interview screen, again he stood, after this first ever conquest of an Ozeki. I was just so absorbed in the fight that I don't know what happened. Udai insisted to NHK, perhaps to avoid embarrassing the Ozeki, and one from his native Kansai. Yesterday, for safety's sake, you half hoped he'd pull out. But today, how can he? Having showcased the power of sumo to send thousands of people home happy. Facing him tomorrow, to his added delight, is Yokozuna Teruno Fuji. Today, seeking to extend his streak to 21. Let's keep a count now, folks. This could roll on for months. On the same tournament day last year, this happened. And today... A reverse camera angle, but the same type of bout. I wanted to choke off his momentum but couldn't get a left grip, said a short eye drowning in his own tactics. The first win this year in my trademark style, said Dai Esho. Let's try to rally now. The coolest sumo today, in more than one sense, was displayed by new Mr. Ice Pack, Mitake Umi. Once that inner right formed, it was a joy to watch. The knee bend, foot movement, trailing leg, shoulder angle, clamp and block combined, everything done to perfection. For the first time since starting this channel, around four years ago this week, I want him to be Ozeki. And equally worthy of the cameras,
was this display from Macy, based on the simple goal of not getting slapped forward, with the little foot adjustment here. And in the final moments, did he actually bully this far heavier man? Now, today, January 11th, also marks the retirement of Shaw Horzan's main coach, who turns 65 tomorrow. However, it's only a retirement in the Japanese senior manager's sense. He will still stay on in an assisting role for five more years. It transpires he has swapped elder stock with Kiseno Sato, and will thus use the Araiso name. Time sadly forbids me from showing you all the good bouts today, so let's just go with the clear winner for best in Division 3. Niono Umi narrowly outlasting Ichiki. And finally, on this day of coverage with a very personal tone, another story. On a cold December night last year, in the darkness of Takasago Stable's back alley, or Belt Theft Way, did I come across Takuma Ishizaki. Really I did? Were I making this up, I'd have said Asanoyama. And while I marvelled over how stocky Ishizaki looks up close, he talked me through this bout here. Too right those full starts were deliberate, he said with sad eyes. They messed me up inside, had me beat before the fight began. I suspect today's foe Fujiseyun simply watched the clip rather than bugged our conversation, and took a suitably studious approach. Ishizaki infuriated into defeat again. How those men do try to ruin his rhythm. Ishizaki also talked me through this bout here, by the way, but in quite some detail, so something, maybe, for another video.